It is Sunday, July 14th, 2024. My name is George Eric, and we are coming to you not live from the uh, um, <laughs> Cumberland River Canal. It's not a real thing. In the heartland of America, downtown Nashville, USA. And this is uh, the five-time award-winning um, Oscars Mafia. I wish. Um, <laughs> no, it's just me and, and Jazz again today. Uh, see, the thing about it is, is that we haven't done an episode in months. And uh, obviously a lot of shit has changed. A lot of shit is about to change. So uh, it's, it's about time we provide a snapshot of uh, what's happening right now. So since uh, we last talked, we had Can, we've had a few sprinkles of Fall Festival announcements and certain big things that have been announced. Mostly just for Toronto, I think. Mostly for Toronto, that's correct. Uh, I think, you know, instead of like going through like Can and talking about all the movies from Can and like all the all these movies, I'm gonna just go through my list. And talk about like some of this stuff, but now uh, I don't want to completely rehash things that we don't know anything about yet. So, like, for example, a movie like um, Conclave, we still don't know anything about it. So, like, I don't really feel like there's much need to talk about it. The piano lesson, same thing. Also, the Nickel Boys, like, you know, movies that like. We can talk about them. We don't really need to talk about them. Not not at this current moment. Uh, one thing that one film that we definitely need to talk about. And I, I feel a weird uh, sense of uh, both vindication and uh, and anger because I said before, look, guys, I, I think this movie can be a potential player. Obviously, we're talking about Despicable Me Four. Yes. Uh, see, this pickle one before it could be, yeah, you know, it's gonna win best picture. It's, no, I'm just it's, it's winning best picture. That's um, not good. That's uh, no, I mean, like a movie that, like, I was like, guys, this can be something, this can be a thing. And everyone said, like, no, 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 there's no way this guy's movies never are never gonna appeal to them in that way. But I was like, I don't know, guys. And then I, uh, everyone kind of convinced me, okay, maybe it's actually not that. I don't know. But then a fall guy the movie premiered. And it won the highest prize in all of the land, the Palm Door. I am obviously talking about Anora by Sean Baker. I thought we were talking about the Fall Guy this whole time. I mean, listen, it's it's not just a thing that we're like, well, oh, we're going to predict this because it won the Palm Door. Uh, even before it won the Palm Door, I was kind of thinking like, and after it premiered, I was like, oh, shit, maybe this is uh, something. Like, the buzz for just started to grow and grow and grow. People started to talk more and more about it. And I was like, oh, shit, this might be this might be it. And here's the thing. It is the first American film to win the Palm d'Or since The Tree of Life 13 years ago. And most American films that win the Palm d'Or go on to get on for Best Picture in all but two. Only two American Palm d'Or winners have not gotten a single nomination so i mean really and truly like i think it's a pretty bad bet to not have this in your top 10 oh, so uh, if you want to predict the palm door next year just pick whatever neon has yeah yeah um fifth year in a row i believe yes the fifth one in a row uh obviously one of those films did not get Oscar nominations, that was Teton, but we all, if you've seen that movie, you know why. Every other one, Parasite, Triangle of Sadness, Anatomy of a Fall, very big success. And I I, I don't see why it, that's not going to happen with Honora. It, it It's already slated for that third week of October uh, release that the other ones had, even Teton. They're already getting the ball rolling on it, getting the hype going for it. And look, 
I'm going to throw this out there. And, you know, I, I thought maybe maybe this was a hot take when I first said it. It doesn't seem like such a hot take anymore. But Anora is currently my pick to win Best Picture. I don't know if I'll go that far. Listen. You have to consider, like, I mean, like, uh, what, like, what are the other films there? I mean, maybe something comes up that we don't know yet. You know, maybe Nickel Boys is, like, this really, like, gritty movie, critically acclaimed film where it's like, oh, this is, this is in it to win it. But here, he, he, here's the thing. I look at some of the bigger tech movies or the ones that are bigger, that are, like, in theory, supposed to be, like, more of players they don't necessarily make sense to me as a movie that could win. Like, do you really think that Dune Part 2 is going to win? I, I certainly I don't. Think, I don't think I can remember what my place will be. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't think, think it's Dune. Dune. I don't think it's Joker. I, I don't think it's Blitz. We'll get, to, which we'll get to that. Oh, Blitz is my place will win. I don't think it's winning, but I needed to put something on number one, obviously. You know, and, and you know, there's a lot of other things. Now, a lot of people are going to say, but my list is also super outdated. They're gonna they're gonna hear what <laughs> my, my 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 list here, and they're gonna say, "Well, what about um Sing Sing, which is coming out this week in limited release? It's like already gotten week. pretty decent box office for what it is. A movie comes out this week in limited release, yeah, in New York and L.A. Eight twenty four guys have all this marketing. My God, I got to do something with this movie. It, yeah, they didn't do they didn't really market the movie that much, but um, that's it. Still did shock. well considering what shocker. it's. What 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 it's uh how big it is and Ivan Orna is number four right now, but again, it's just also really um, outdated because I still have like I have like bird on here, but I don't know what else to put in because I've been just so out of touch well, with the stuff right now. So he, he, here's the thing though, like I'm looking at Sing Sing and you're like, yeah, it makes sense on paper as a winner. I suppose my feeling about it is is that like, I mean, number one, I feel like there's not as much hype for it outside of like our circles like oscar circles and like maybe some indie fans are seeing it and part of that is maybe the fault of a24 for not putting it out there it's like, the marketing not, because the no marketing. one knows it exists if you don't pay attention to this right? but like you know that's still not really like a, a big thing about it right and also like I, 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 people I mean, pay attention to a24 I mean, Me there's, there's certain A24 movies that people don't realize are A24. They don't know that they exist. Like, they need to, to market their movies. One thing about um, Sing Sing that's also a little bit concerning to me is, I mean, yes, we had three winners in a row that came out before fall festivals. He, here's the problem with that. With, uh, and, and I get that. And I get that, you know, maybe release dates don't matter as much. Here's the problem with that, though. Two of those movies were very big pop culture zeitgeist moments and cemented themselves amongst, like, even, like, normies, right? The other um, film, and obviously, uh, I am, of course, I was, of course, talking about Everything Everywhere and uh, Oppenheimer. The other film, which is obviously Coda, I mean, that was, like, such an outlier year that I don't think you should ever compare anything to CODA ever. I don't think like, anyone takes anything from the COVID years to do, seriously, with stats. Because it was just such an outlier year. So that did technically it, go to a festival. That did technically go to a festival. <laughs> well, well, everything everywhere it did as well. I'm talking before fall festivals. Here, here's the problem. And the CODA thing also, like, if there were a slightly stronger film that could have beaten Power of the Dog, that film would have done it. Uh, Coda was just like seen as like the only minuscule alternative, and they flocked to it. I I don't know if Sing Sing is that movie. In fact, I kind of doubt that it is that movie. Well, I don't know if I should say I doubt it, but like. People are already treating it as the front runner. It's, I believe it is number one on Gold Derby. I believe it is number one on Awards Expert Community Community Tab. It's um, like it's it, it, people are already kind of assuming it 
to be the 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 one right or the movie the front runner in quotes which normally you would think that's something like blitz or maybe dune part two uh but no i mean people are just like man sing sing that that's the one that's the one right but it's uh, like it's not like a movie that can like sustain itself in the way that everything ever and oppenheimer did with its cultural zeitgeist not saying this is not an argument for that for why it can't get nominated i don't think i don't think that this movie is in that much danger of missing best picture but it, it's not that type of movie that would like just hold itself that well and also like we don't really know what the we don't like is it really a coda is it really a coda and there's also with these summer releases they are kind of running the risk of it being it's i don't think it's going to be full past lives but i can definitely see a scenario where it only gets the bare minimum nominations which would be i suppose picture actor screenplay it's supporting actor i don't believe that this is as as sealed in terms of like oh this can win right like i don't think that this is the one that's going to to pull that off and you know i look at some of these other movies and it's like you see a movie like anora which can win original screenplay at least as of right now the competition's not looking good so that can be an easy win now granted i, I will grant you this it, it, it there there's a scenario where it, it wins screenplay and only that like there isn't like a super ample opportunity for it to win in other places although I'm going to make the case for a couple because direct let's look at director real quick. I mean, if you really sit there and think about it, Sean Baker is probably the most likely to get nominated for best director. When you really think about it, I mean, you know, you might say, what about Steve McQueen, Steve McQueen, Steve McQueen. I mean, we'll get to bliss in a second. Uh, But do you think that Villeneuve is going to, get nominated after being set for the first film? I don't know. What well, happens getting nominated? I am at number two right now. Do you think Edward Berger is gonna finally get his nomination after missing for All Quiet on the Western Front? I have him at number five. I mean, he can. It's not the conclave guaranteed. Is, uh, conclave is good. I, and, then, and then who else is there? Like, you know, you think Todd Phillips is gonna get in again? Is, I, he's not even in my list. But I guess he could. Is... Um, is is Jack Odiard the like a lock to get nominated? I don't know. What I don't know. So like you look at the options and like it kind of makes for sense what? to say, at least right now, George for what John Baker seems like the most likely person to be nominated for best director. George for what movie? Jack Odiard, Amelia mm-hmm. Perez. Oh yeah, no, I don't see that. Uh, we'll get to we'll get to that movie in a but second. I'm also a little I'm a little more skeptical on this movie than a lot of other people are. So we'll get we'll talk about that in a little bit. So, I mean, at least as of right now, he's most like a person to get nominated. And, you know, you really think about it, if if a director frontrunner doesn't emerge, and, you know, this is a big if, of course, why can't Baker be the one to emerge from that? Because critics can give him awards for it. It seems like that kind of movie that, you know, they, they might reward. And at least has been, you know... Uh, recent trends, you know, critics w- leader has is the one that typically wins best director. So you know, Sean Baker, you know, if if that happens to him, that that puts him in a pretty good position. Uh, to win that category as well. And like, uh, you know, like you know, I don't know, like, is Villeneuve gonna win again? Like, is is McQueen gonna win? Is, you know, whoever going to win, right? So so there, there's a there's a case that can win best director. And then, you know, picture director screenplay is not that crazy. But 
I'm gonna throw one more in there. I I I am, am gonna blow some people's heads off. I'm gonna I'm gonna I, I, I know can see the comments. No. no, I can I'm gonna see the no. comments. I can see no, the George. comments now. It's not happening. Mikey Madison. I'm just saying. No. Yes. I'm saying, look, 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 look. No. Again. Okay. I will concede this point. It is not as likely as director. It's probably not even as likely as picture. But. I mean, do, do you let, let's look at the options again. And look, I'll, I'll, and I'll grant you this on paper. These definitely do make more sense than some of the options in best director. But. I personally, I have a hard time seeing Lady Gaga winning for Joker. I do. Also, I'm not sure that like, I, I mean, based on like what happened with his last few, I'm not sure that Angelina Jolie is going to be uh, winning this one for um, uh, got Maria. And, you know, Amy Adams, I mean, she's probably like the preordained frontrunner right now, like won the TIFF prize. OK, like maybe that can happen. But what if that movie's just not? Don't even get me started on fucking Amy album. What what if that movie just like I, I mean like I, I I and I'm gonna contradict myself based on what I uh, what I'm gonna say about it later. No, you know why I'm saying don't get me started on Amy Adams. <laughs> what if that film just is not there? And then beyond that, I mean, when you look beyond that, who else is there? Like you think. Like, I mean, again, it's contingent on all of these people just being like, there's like, ah, they won't win. They won't win. Oh, told us but if we get know. to that point and, you know, Mikey Madison's in the movie that's going to win Best Picture. I mean, I'm just saying, I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Uh, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm going to get called a stand for this. I've literally only seen her in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, all right? So... I'm just saying. You carry Mulligan. We do not speak that name in this house. <laughs> I'll bring it up. What are we going to do, ignore her? Okay, I'm going to set aside my all that for a second. The history with Carrie Mulligan. That's not an unfair point to bring up. That this could just not be the type of role that they that they go for in terms of a wit. Like I like I I don't really think that there's that she's at any risk of not being nominated as some people seem to think like oh well she's young she's young she's young uh you know Brie Larson freaking won for Room and you know Jennifer Lawrence got nominated for Winner's Bone but she was younger than me uh you know Carrie I mean, Mulligan again she I got mean, nominated for an education at like twenty four I mean the actress like, category is typically much friendlier to younger yeah. young actors so like I don't know. Maybe like there is a little bit of a chance that like they're just they just go with veterans over her. But if the movie's like this big in Best Picture, I don't see why she misses. I'm I, I'm I'm pretty I'm fairly certain she's gonna be nominated, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I don't see her missing. I don't see her winning though right now. I mean like some of these options uh like if like okay. You know, maybe this is kind of coat that I don't want to see Lady Gaga. Like, some people will say, well, you don't want to see Lady Gaga win. I mean, I'm like, I don't, I mean, ultimately speaking, it's like, whatever. I haven't seen the movie. I I don't believe that it's going to happen. But maybe I'm just like, not prepared for it. You know, you could say that. Or maybe this is like a normal Pablo Lorraine movie for Maria or, you know, Amy Adams. That's so it's funny. Just, That's so funny. Or Amy Adams is just that undeniable or something. I don't know. I don't know. I I don't... Or maybe, you know, some of these other movies. I, I don't think, like... I mean, this. I mean, we don't know if this movie exists, but even if it does, I don't think Jessica Lange is going to win. The movie doesn't exist. I don't think Saoirse Ronan is... I don't think this is her year. I'm um, a protector. I legally have to. 
Well, uh, if you're going to tell me that, you know, I know Mikey she's not going no to I'm gonna be, to. I'm going to be the one to tell you Sersha has no chance. I legally have to predict. I know she's not winning, but I legally have to. Touche. I mean, look, I, I'm just saying it's a non-zero chance. And and and, and again, I, and I, I'll even admit you know, the pegging order for, for winning is probably original director, picture, actress, and then everything else. Right? Like, I, I don't see a world where this wins any techs. What the fuck's any, everything? What the else is it getting? Uh, editing is a possibility. Um, some people will shout out the supporting actors. I'm not sure if, like, they will, if they would get in, though. They're not getting in. I don't, I, <laughs> yeah, I, I doubt that. But I mean, look, I'm, I'm just saying, like, I think, you know, there's a, there's a chance that, like, this movie ends up walking away with, like, four, four Oscars in the end. And, and that's what I'm going to go with for now is 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 that package uh i'm not going to count out sing sing fully i because that would that would just be that would just that would just be stupid uh because i i mean i mean it, it's true that the movie on paper is like it seems like complete catnip right but uh and, and it has a a package of its own like actor and adapted screenplay if you assume that's what it's getting, is a uh, that's pretty that's pretty good on its own, and supporting actors a possibility as well. Both of these movies have like a win ceiling of like four, and they're all above the line. Sing Sing is easy is easy to see winning SAG. Anora probably wouldn't win SAG. Sing Sing is apparently not eligible for WGA, so that that could be a bit of a problem. Um, not, Adora is like, eligible. I guess, I guess so. Say what now? Like, do you think? I, I was like, I guess so. Anora getting nominated for SAG, but I guess so. I guess mostly just because it's a lot of like really bad actors. But... Now, and and I'm not going to count out the argument that uh the cast could be just so big, and they could bring them around everywhere, tap them everywhere, and that could that could change things, but. I mean, it, it, the thing about it is, is that, like, it's not the perfect formula. Not every every movie that goes this this route is destined to succeed. That's that's how I'll put it. You know, maybe that's the race as, as you see it right now. Uh, again, I don't think Dune's going to win. I don't think, you know, I, I, I don't think Conclave. I don't think Nickel Boys or, or Joker or whatever. But, but you know, I mean... The way that goes, Anora is also, you know, I mean, it's an irreverent film. But so was everything everywhere. Hell, so was Coda, even to a certain extent. So was No My Land to an extent. So was Parasite. It's it's a new era where like more irreverent films are able to to go the distance and win. You just have to have the passion for them. And we've there, there's passionate supporters of Anora already coming out of can. I mean, the movie winning the Palm Door is indicative of that in and of itself. And there, there, there are people you can talk to them who said, like on the ground, like what's like what was everyone's favorite movie? And I was like, oh, Anora. It was Anora. Now, perhaps this movie needs a bit more of a boost. It would be nice to see it when the place, at least place, maybe not necessarily the place for the TIFF audience award. It would be nice to see a decent box office for it. And uh, it, it needs to do really well with critics. I don't think it's going to have that issue where like critics are just going to ignore it. But, you know, the other two, who knows? I mean, Anatomy got a lot of buzz at TIFF. Couldn't place. Uh, it didn't do terrible box office, but it wasn't amazing uh but you know these are things that would be helpful for it uh is all is all i'm gonna say it, it would be helpful for it 
And obviously the Palm Door is already a boost enough on its own. So that 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 those are things that like I think would be good for it. If it's going to go all the way and win. And I'm and you know, I'm I'm not gonna change that until I see a reason to. I'll put it that way. Now, I listed off my top six. Lenora, Sing Sing, Dune, Conclave, Nickel Boys, Joker. I feel decent about those. Uh, everything down from there. Um. Uh, God help me. Uh, God help so, me above below my top four. God help me. Let's talk about Blitz for a second. Um, I. <laughs> me Blitz Dan. Listen, I, 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 I mean. Okay. Does this make the most sense on paper? Yeah, on paper. Here's what's a little bit concerning, though. World premiere at London. Supposedly the only fest is going to go to. You know, you can tell me all about, oh, well, it takes place in London, so of course they'd want to premiere at London until you're blue in the face. Uh, you could have made this argument for she said as well like oh it's a new york movie you gotta have a premiere in new york you know still didn't you know how that how that work out right also a little bit weird apple is not giving it a wide release and this is apparently th- this is supposedly an expensive movie and it's just getting like a limited release like what's going on there right now there's a chance that this is my show and all this talk about like, like oh why what what why why are they taking this route with it ends up being you know hogwash and uh, the movie is a big player, but I don't know. There's not amazing signs for it. Uh, maybe I I don't know about slight, but like maybe it's not as like hitting right or maybe it's not quite as good or maybe apple doesn't have as much confidence in it for one reason or another i don't know uh i guess we'll find out i mean the thing about it is is that like it's it's apple's only thing they currently don't have a theatrical distributor which maybe is another thing to be concerned about who who knows who knows but i think i think there's some red flags there that are, you know, we we kind of have to pay some attention to. Uh, there's other things that I'm not fully sold on as well. Uh, you know, we opened this with, you know, Honora. Let's go to the other can movie that, like, a lot of people are saying this is going to be a big uh, player. Yeah, Milia Perez. Um... Now, when people started talking about this movie as a Best Picture player, I was like, no, fuck no. No, 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 no. That's not happening. Uh, 70 on Metacritic. Really not a not a great sign for it. But, you know, there were some people who were passionate about it, blah, blah, blah. It Won two prizes at Cannes, which hasn't happened in a in a while. Uh, I can't remember the last time it happened. Um, but it won the jury prize, which is kind of third place, depending on like how the jury decides to award it. Uh, and it also won Best Actress, not just for its lead, Carla Sofia Gascon, uh, who is the first trans actor to win a prize at Cannes. But also to the other women in the film. This felt like a cop out, by the way, when they did this. It, it, oh, it was a cop out. Believe me, it was a cop out. Uh, they gave it, and look, there's I mean, to be fair, there's precedent for it. They did this with all the women in Volver, just giving them uh, best actress. That's also a cop out. But, but like, you know. I, I don't know. Greg Gerwig's reasoning for it it was like, well, we felt like they all made the movie and we can't reward one without rewarding the others. It's like, well, okay. Pick one. Just, just fucking pick one. Don't be a coward. So, you know, it's it's Carlos Sevilla Gasco and it's Andrea Paz, it's Zoe Saldana and Selena Gomez. 
So, um, uh, I feel bad I know actually. The Selena fans might be take... watching this video. Hi, hello. Oh, why? I still cannot take Selena Gomez seriously. It's like a serious actor. I don't know why. I, I've seen her in. It's the, it's the Disney the image. It's, the, it's it, like. Like I know that she I, like I know like, people I know say that like Kristen Stewart still has like Twilight syndrome or whatever, but like <clears throat> I I don't know for some reason like I I take Kristen Stewart more seriously than I do Selena Gomez. Um, like I know like I know that she can act. I've seen her in only movies in the world, and I like her. And I I'm like I know a lot of it's because of competition, but go couldn't even get nominated for like an Emmy. Like I don't know. I hope I hope she's good. Um. But I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't think I was like. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I I was saying Gascon is going to like. I was being. I was saying Gascon is going to win ever since like we knew what the lineup was. I was like, yeah. Like I think. I think they were going to give it to Gascon. Uh, I did not anticipate them giving it to all the women in the film. You were technically correct. I was technically correct. Yes. Uh, I really did not see this coming. <laughs> um, but uh, you know n- now, and, and 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 especially now that Netflix has picked it up, people are saying, "Oh, a million presses, Oscar contender, maybe this could happen." And I'm like, "Man, did you read the reviews? Did you see the scores?" But then I got to thinking about it. I mean, Netflix is like th- this. I mean, it's this or the piano lesson, most likely, based on what they have. And there's a scary precursor path to it. Like Golden Globes might go crazy for it. Maybe SAG throws in a couple bones. You know, guilds might be more friendly to this. And, and maybe there is a case that Netflix is number one and they can get some actors and, you know, there's also ODR, you know, he's been um, uh, international staple for a long time. Uh, you know, he got his film, A Prophet, got nominated for international film in 2009. It didn't win, but it was nominated. Uh, his film, Deep Hand, won the Palm Door. Uh, he's been making movies for like 30 years now. Maybe there's an opportunity here for like the director's branch to like be like, you've made so many great movies. It's time to, it's time to get you in our club. I, I, to be fair, the movie seems very melodramatic more than like, I would, I would assume the director's branch would be into. That's one musical. (laughs) But you're kind of looking in like, it's also a musical, which I still don't, I still can't picture that <laughs> for some reason. Yeah, it sounds insane, but like, you know, I, I think about it, it's like, man, uh, I when you think about it, it's, you kind of think like, shit, this might just happen. <laughs> like, it might just be, like, the path might just be too, too um, clear for it to not go down. Like yeah, it I'm might be. I don't know why. I'm still skeptical of this movie, and I don't. Know I'm why. not fully sold on it. Admittedly, like I think it could fall off. I think there's a chance it's May December, and it just, it just doesn't really come to fruition. But also, when I think about it, May December did not have mm-hmm. as solid of a precursor path as this movie does. Like honestly, this movie, like it, like. When Justin said it, uh, in Oscar for one of Oscar's recent videos, it kind of hit me. It's kind of it's kind of giving Elvis a little bit. In how when you think about it, and you think about what it might get, what precursors it might get, and it's like, oh shit. <laughs> for the record, I don't think this movie looks all that good. I'm not a fan of the cinematography style based on the trailer. Uh, I don't I think. Looks... I honestly can't remember the trailer. <laughs> It, it, I don't it, think I watched it. I don't think oh, it looks terrible, it. but like, I don't. I didn't watch it it. it. it does like some some of it does kind of look like a sitcom. Yeah, I, I did. It does watch look it very melodramatic for my liking. 
The version I found on on Twitter didn't have English subtitles, so I didn't watch it. But I'll watch it eventually. I mean, like, I I don't I don't know what Texas like, could get in. Like, also, like, like, I heard about one of the songs for the movie. I still have trouble picturing this movie so, as a musical. I don't know something about a lot uh, of trouble picturing it as a musical. Just with the concept, <laughs> like. I'm trying to think of what one of the songs was, but it was something crazy. It was I think it had something to do with with periods or something. I don't remember. I'll I'll put I'll 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 go look for it. And I'll put it in around this point. But like, oh man, you put the pieces together and it's just like, ugh, ah, uh, this might be really, like interesting concept that I don't. Might I don't be know if the academy will go for. I mean, look, it's not it's not a guarantee at all. It's really not. But I don't know. You look at what's what else is there and what it might get. Like maybe, maybe it's just inevitable. I don't know. And it can get best actress. That's a there's a huge narrative for that. Uh, maybe she goes to supporting. If she goes to supporting, I I Gascon that is, then I think there's a win narrative there. Uh, maybe she goes in lead. Gold Derby has her in lead I'm, right now. I'm too pessimistic. <laughs> um, and then like you also you have to wonder could Zoe Saldana get into supporting? Well, no, I'm so, too pessimistic to believe that. Yes, Ron Uh, some people are going to say Selena Gomez. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, 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 I may be contradicting myself. You know, I have Mikey Madison winning for Honora, and she's been like scream movies. Um. And here I am with Selena Gomez as a more established career. I'm saying she's not, she's not getting out of it. I just don't see. I just don't know if like I could see them nominating two supporting actresses from this film in the same category. Like, especially if it's like not a top five movie. I don't have enough faith in the Academy to award a trans woman an an acting award. (laughs) I hope they do. It'd be cool. I don't have enough faith in the Academy. Did you? have enough faith in the Academy to reward a foreign language film in 2019? I mean, fair enough. So I don't, I don't know if I'd want to read the anonymous ballot. I, I, I mean, I, I think there's no way she lends in lead. I'll tell you that much. Supporting, I think there's a different conversation. I don't know. They need to make that mind up on where they want to submit them. I've been hearing. Uh, I, I'm I'm not going to change way. category placements from where I have them right now until <clears throat> we get official official confirmation. So that means Gascon leads Saldana supporting, and Saldana can get nominated in supporting. Some people like Eric Anderson seems to think she can win. I'm I don't know about that. Oh, I don't think she can win, regardless of what category anyone goes. From what I've heard of people who have seen it, they're co leads. Whatever. Yeah, that's that's the impression but I got. I don't think they're going co lead. They'd be stupid to send up both in, in their different. Instagram. Yeah, my my guess is that they would do the Carol thing. I'll put Saldana uh, in lead because she's a more well known. Well, no. Um, I I guess it's technically reverse Carol in a sense, but like, mm-hmm. put Gascon in lead because they like the optics of having her in lead. Mm. I mean, I think I was talking with someone who said that like it'd be weird if they put. The actress who plays Amelia Perez in supporting. Yeah. And also the fact that she's trans and be the first, you know, time a trans actor ever. Well, I'll be the first time a trans actor I ever got any nomination. Uh mm-hmm. as an openly trans open as an openly trans person. Openly. Elliot Page was nominated, but that was before he, you know, was he came out. Um, but uh, you know, talking specifically about um uh, Gascon, the first openly trans person to receive, you know, a lead acting nomination. Uh, that that's, I think they like the optics of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and Saldana, I mean, I guess Saldana can get in. I mean, I I think she has a better chance than freaking Selena Gomez. <laughs> but like, <laughs> oh my god, oh god, the the Selena Gomez stands are going to be sending nukes to my house after they hear this. <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah. Um, but before before I, I I risk um. Uh, Nashville becoming a nuclear wasteland. Maybe we should move off of this, off of this movie. Um, 
as I said, um, you know, not a, uh, I mean, it's not a movie that I would have thought, but I mean, you just keep thinking about it. What it might get like the, the package might just be two there. If that makes sense. Uh, there's the other movies. We have the room next door. That's uh, Sony Pictures Classics. Amadova. It's basically confirmed to come out this year. Pedro Almodovar's new film, English language film. Here, 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 here's my dilemma with it, and I have it in right now, but I'm not like. It, it took some convincing because here's the thing. I don't really know what is different about this this particular film other than the fact that it's in English that would make it like more of a contender uh in in best picture now I look at someone I look at like Tilda Swinton I look at Julianne Moore and they make sense. You know, Penelope Cruz did get nominated for Parallel Mothers. Uh, Antonia Banderas got nominated for Pain and Glory. They've nominated uh, actors in other Alba Dovar films. Uh, it's, you know, mm -hmm. not, not, not a crazy prediction to have one of them in. Screenplay seems viable, given the competition. And then there's also score. Uh, Who's in the score? Is it someone known? I don't know. It's the same guy who does all of his movies. Wow. Oh, uh, God. I did. Oh, I didn't like the score for Parallel Mothers. The thing about it is, though, and I haven't seen Pain and Glory, so I don't know how this would go. Uh, with Parallel Mothers, I don't think that movie all of a sudden becomes a bigger player simply by virtue of the fact that it's in English. I just kind of don't see that. Uh, I also, I don't really see that with Volver either. And that got, you know, a lone best <laughs> actress nomination for Penelope Cruz. Uh, his only movie to ever, that would have like been in the top 10 is Talk to Her. And apparently that's mm -hmm. kind of an odd movie. So maybe, maybe there's a bit of a case there. I'm just I'm like. Gold I'm going to Gold Derby. There's rumors, but Soldano's going to lead. What oh, they just put them on Gold Derby. Someone said there's rumors that Soldan is going to lead. So, what would they just double the campaign lead, or would they just put like I have no clue? Um, anyway, like back the, to room next door. Like the optics are not one but grave that for her disappointment. Look, I, I just don't know if like, like, I don't know that this is like an automatically not as weird film simply by virtue of the fact that like. Oh, it's in English now. I guess, like, by default, it makes it more likely. But, like, here's another thing, too, though. If Triangle of Sadness was, was, was in another language, let's play this argument for a second. If Triangle of Sadness is in another language, do you think it still gets nominated? Because I um, think there's, yeah. there's a case that it still could have gotten nominated if it was not in English. Yeah. If Anatomy of a Fall was entirely in French and not like half in English, could it have still got nominated? I think yes. Yeah. Now, of course, I'm I'm using Palm Door movies as as examples. Maybe I should go with a. Uh, uh, if Poor Things was in another language, I I think that still get, could get nominated because I mean, well, that's a Golden Lion winner, but like you know, still a bunch of technicals. <laughs> you know, you have perform showy performances. Like it's not necessarily a crazy. Uh, idea but like if you all of a sudden you take some random movie that was like not that was maybe close to the top 10 like i i, I can't work i'm putting this in the wrong way i'm not sure if there's like a movie i can think of where that was like in the 9 to 10 slot where if you make it a foreign language film it automatically falls out of the nominations I don't think that happens with women talking. I don't think that happens with like Sound of Metal. 
I don't think it happens with Phantom Thread, right? Like, <laughs> I, I, I don't... Well, Phantom Thread kind of did write on PTA's name, but, like, that, that whatever, that's besides the point. <laughs> I, I just... I, I don't know that this works the way that people think, think it does. I, mean, I think just and maybe you English, could argue it's, it's that, like, the worst be person a... in the world would have done better if it was in English, or I actually do Drive My Car could world. have been in wind contention if it was in English. I was maybe I that's true. This person would have done better in English. <laughs> I maybe, maybe, maybe that's kind of true. But like, you know, I, I don't know that that Almodovar is that type of director. No, who who, where automatically his films do better simply by virtue of the fact that they're in English, right? No, it was like an Almodovar film. Now, look, I can be wrong about this. Maybe, maybe this is like kind of a relatively normal film, but like, I and I do have it in my ten, but like. I'm not completely there. I would look 12. I don't. It is Sony Pictures Classics, though, which, I mean, they're not, I think we overrate them a little bit because um, for all all their talent that they do have, they want to miss us. Like, Living couldn't get anything outside Uh after in screenplay it may I mean, be I, don't, I, mean, I mean i think realistically it's gonna get it after the screenplay you know they couldn't do do much with parallel mothers so then again i did say i think that would like i, I think that would have struggled anyway but i mean we always say don't underestimate them for a reason because like they do do like they know how to get like late nominations basically so I don't know like that's probably a reason to like not count it out and like if it is going to get screenplay and score and actors you know you do kind of have to wonder like you know if it could just get in based off that and maybe mm-hmm. Alba Dovar picks up a director while while he's at it you never know they also have the no. outrun they also have the outrun just so just so okay, the outrun's here. not getting a best picture nomination, Jasmine. No, I'm saying like, they could do a big push for search if they really want. But they have Tilda Swinton. Why like why are they going to sacrifice Tilda Swinton for Sersha Ronan? I'm just saying. It also depends on where Sersha opts to campaign for blitz, I guess. Uh l- let's move down the list and I guess we can lump two films together here. One that is in my top ten, one that's not. No, oh, before we move on, what do you think of the comparisons to Dolly de Leon from a human Uh, I don't buy it. <laughs> Triangle of Sadness was not a top five. It was a nine to ten movie. And like, she was always on the bubble. And you know, her competition was Stephanie Hsu, and she was in the Best Picture winner. I, I don't I don't think that comp- that the comparison uh checks out. Okay. I, I thought I knew you were gonna say that. Someone also said that Mikey Madison having the titular role of her film helps her a lot more than like Dolly Dillion, on who is in an ensemble film. Well to be fair <laughs> I'm oh 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 I thought you were making a different argument. Okay, never mind. Uh let's anyway, let's go on. Let's talk about the searchlight films. Let's start with the one that I have. And I'm really I I I'm I second guess myself on this movie a lot. Night bitch. Um I have it in I have it at nine. But I don't know what to do with it. But I, I was kind of running out of options when I was making my list. He, here here's the thing about this. A while ago. The premise of the movie and you like fucking movies. It's it's it sounds it sounds odd. Weird, but it's so weird. Which look, Out I there. mean we're 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 in a we're in a world where a movie like everything ever all at once can win best picture so like i don't think content matters that much not the, no not, but the not, concept is weird no but the concept's a little weird you know the, the book sounds almost unadaptable uh based on things i've heard about i'm like how are they going to turn this into a movie I would like to see them. And, and, there, and there's Night a case there that, like, you know, if, the, if they actually manage to, to adapt this into a cohesive film, 
then, you know, maybe it could just be so big. I like but the idea I of him having at... the same night bitch on stage multiple times. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I look at this and I'm like, okay, you know, you have Marielle Heller, who, you know, is a good director. Um, <clears throat> she's she's gotten good reviews for her films. Her films have gotten acting nominations before. It's not you know, necessarily a crazy idea to suggest maybe that this, she could have a a hit one day and maybe this is it. Uh, but I, I my, my hold up is I don't know how they're going to adapt this. Uh, I now, plan to read the book before we see the a, a green fl- A possible green flag is they did award Amy Adams the TIFF Tribute Prize. There's a catch to that, though. For as for as many people who have won that prize, they gone to get nominated or win. You know, Joaquin Phoenix, Anthony Hopkins, Jessica Chastain, Cumberbatch, Brendan Fraser, Coleman Domingo. One of the winners of that prize was Meryl Streep in the Laundromat, and we all know how that went. Uh, they also gave it to Kate Winslet in Ammonite. So <laughs> the track record is really like it's hit or miss. Um, are you gonna be reading largely. the book before? Are you gonna be reading the book before you you see it? Yeah, I might. Maybe I'll read it. I- I'm curious what what they do with it. Ultimately speaking, but again, and here's my here's my hold up. I look at what Searchlight has. Supreme Searles, all you can eat is gone. That's Hulu, but they, there's also a real pain, which a lot of people are gonna say like. Oh, maybe Another. this one. Uh, I don't buy it. We've seen it, I, and I don't. I I don't get the picture thing. I don't get it. I really. I like. I, I don't wish understand I could. it. I wish I could. Like we were not even just saying we've seen the movie, and we don't see it. Yeah, I have it in supporting actor, and I have it in screenplay, which I do think it has chances in. But I don't get the picture thing. I don't. It's it's a slight movie. Like I really think, like, like I, I, I shouldn't say everyone falls in this category because it's, it's not true. But I think the majority of people who are predicting this in Best Picture have not seen the film. It's not the movie that you think it is. It's not this grandiose, like you know, super deeply emotional film that you know you might think it is. I mean, sure, you can maybe glean something from it, but it's not really a heavy movie. But it is better than his last one. Thank God. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Real, real, real impressive there. <laughs> I mean, the bars was really low, but it's better than his last movie, which I hate. It's, it's like Sean Baker going from four letter words to take out. Okay, but in actuality, it's not the movie you think it is. It's a slight movie. And also, like, I mean, you're looking at, like, what can it actually, like, it doesn't pack the emotional punch, at least not in an obvious way, uh, in, there's in my opinion. There's a little bit of one, but it's not, like, deeply It's not hitting. super, like, even Coda had a bigger, um, had a more impactful and, like, emotional ending than this, than this movie does. Like, it, it, and that's not to say that the movie needs that, but, like, I, I just don't see the picture thing. The only way I can really see this happening is if it's a weak year. Or if Searchlight just really decides we're gonna go all in on this. And if Searchlight does manage to get this in, then I like I whatever their like seems to be their number one, I'm just gonna throw it in for till the other time. Because like if this were any other studio besides Searchlight, I would not consider it one bit. <laughs> like it wouldn't even be on the fucking list. But they don't have anything else. So <laughs> they were really they were really small sleep this year. So like I don't know, by default I kind of have to go with Night Bitch. But I don't know, maybe like they just miss this year. Maybe they just miss. Uh not saying that this that this is a guarantee, but it's something to consider. It's something to consider. Uh but anyway, th- those are I guess it's those two films. 
I, I, I just, I mean, I'm not super deep in either one of them, but like, I, I'm, I'm going with the one that makes more sense to me based on what I know right now. And then I guess finally to round out my top 10, uh, there's the piano lesson, you which have is the other, top, do you not have queer in your top 10? Netflix. I do not. And I'm not, right? I'm not incredibly sold in the piano lesson either. I'm just what, like, Ricky, I just, why don't you have queer in your top 10? I get, I, here, here's the thing about queer that I'm, I, I guess I'm kind of wrestling with. Are people predicting the movie because they think there's something about it that's going to like innately appeal to to people, or is it because they want Luca Guadagnino to get a nomination this year because they don't think he can get in for challengers? I'm the to be, first clear, to be clear, I first... also don't think he like he's getting in for challengers. I don't I don't like I think challengers has next to no chance. I'm the first vote. But you know my stance on Luca Barney. I'm I not referring he's... to you specifically. I'm like, not I'm think, not naming I think, names. I think, it's, I think it's fine. Challengers is my favorite movie of his by quite a long time. Also, there's, I, not, I, very many, there's not very many alternatives, sorry to tell you, George. I mean here here I, I guess, but like I'm not sure if I want to go with a movie that right now currently has no distributor yeah, not true, yeah. and no release plan. I mean, I guess there's that Dumoy post that like says like, oh, it might be A24. Uh, it's Dumoy. I'm not going to go off of Dumoy in the same way I wouldn't go off Jordan Rumi. But uh, I'm, I, I, I guess it's it's like I, I look at the plot for the for the book. And again, I, I don't think content matters as much nowadays. But I mean, and, and sex is like a, a, a strange thing to consider, you know. Also, I mean, look, Anora, like I, Anora, we think is going to get get in well, porn things in Rio last year. Well, I, I just look at it and I'm like, I, I don't know if this is like the the one. Like, I think it might be a little bit abstract. Based on what I what I've seen of it, what I know about it, I mean, Guadagnino's movies, movies aren't aren't that abstract. I I, I don't know. Maybe I'm extrapolating, and maybe it like gets like a ninety something on Metacritic, and is like a golden line contender, and like Daniel Craig is like, you know, gets shoots up into the winning conversation for best actor. Mm-hmm. I'm just like I. I, I Guadagnino's mean, movies aren't. That I, I I I get the sense though, like some people want this to have or willing this into existence because of challengers and like i i mean look i i get wanting to will things into existence um in this stage but something about this it it, it i won't say it completely rubs me the wrong way but i'm just it's not completely selling me either do you have like top of feelings? It's it's eleven. Okay, thank you. So, you know, I'm. I might be. I'm. I might not be right about this, but. You know, I might not be right about anything. Uh, I, I guess with the piano lesson, I'm just like. If Samuel L. Jackson's just going to win supporting actor, which he might not, you know, maybe Clarence Macklin could win as well. Uh, and if the film is going to. Like if if Netflix is gonna push it, and it has actors, maybe it's just enough for Bob Sutton top ten. I mean, it doesn't really make that much sense. Or well, it makes sense and it doesn't make sense. But like, I mean, again, like I I don't know about queer. I don't know about real pain. I don't know about some of these other movies. Maybe I mean, maybe I can shoot Blitz back in there. I don't know. But. I guess right now it kind of makes sense as a placeholder. Um, until something else, um, sticks out. Uh, but I, I, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, my entire list. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't want to just keep saying I don't know for everything, but like this is one where I'm just like, eh. This is eh. I think one of the most uncertain that I've felt like like halfway through the year. About my list. Yeah. 
But well, we're, like way more we're giving you a snapshot now. of how it looks right now, too, right? Like, you know, and we're not doing these, like, on a weekly basis, right? Like, I feel like I felt a little more certain to even like last year. Like this time last year. Yeah, I mean, well, this time last year, we were about to embark on uh, Barbenheimer. And, mm. you know, we, we don't have a lot of things. We don't have one this year. Even with other things, I felt, like, way more confident. Just in, like, my top ten. Mm. And I, like, don't feel confident well <laughs> i guess this is how how it looks right now you venice to fucking hurry up please we don't have much time we don't have much time mm-hmm. now uh quickly I'll, I'll run through some of these other ones um the seed of the sacred fig is another one that like it's it's neon's other hand title it was widely expected to win the palm door but then not only does it not win that, it doesn't even win like a real prize, technically. It wins like a weird special prize that the jury created, which is also a major cop-out. Like, you know, you, you didn't have to give Amelia Perez both an actress and the jury prize. You could give this the jury prize if you wanted to. Uh, yeah, I, know. I don't know if I see Sacred Fig or anything. I've warmed up to it a little bit because like... I don't see it in People picture. do I'm seem to be... really like it. I'm gonna be super um, I I don't see, and it does have a good critic scores. Like it, it was like I think it was slightly higher than Enora on the. Uh, it was, yeah, I think so. Critics grid. Uh, it. It's a difference of like three point three versus three point four, though. Um, make of that what you will. I don't think it means that much necessarily. Uh, I think the big issue is that like. Neon is like. They already have a Nora. And, you know, we kind of saw last year with Origin, you know, they kind of, like, they kick their second contender to the curb a lot of the time. And they focus on their number one. Which is a good and a bad thing. There, there's, there's, a, there's a chance, there's a zone of interest level resurgence for it, where, like, after Cam, we're like, eh, I don't know now, you know, didn't win the palm, you know, blah, blah, blah. But then, like, they put it in, like, a December release date and critics start to go for it. And it's like, oh, oh, shit. I will say, oh, I think shit. I think the one thing that isn't going to help see in Sacred Fig is it's very unlikely for an international prize well, like, nomination. Well, because um, Iran is not going it. to submit it. Well, Iran's obviously not going to submit it. And if, like, if, like, I think the other, like, country on it is, like, Germany or something. Yeah, like, some people say, like, oh, maybe France could submit it or Germany can submit France it. Not, ain't, France ain't submitting this movie. Are you fucking kidding me? Right. <laughs> I, I don't, the movie. For, yeah, the problem with both those those countries, they don't submit films that are not either in their native language very, or very, from... Very rarely. France has done a living so it's quite... Or, it's, or it's, from... It's really, really rare. Or from their country. Yeah, Germany it's, especially. It's, the last time... Well, no, the last time France that, yeah. submitted something that wasn't, you know, primarily French or in the French language was Mustang, which is technically a Turkish movie. I think the director is... Um, or, I or, looked it or, up. I think the director is French. Okay, well, the director's franchise. Did that, did that make sense? But um, the last time Germany submitted a movie that was not by a German director, German or Austrian, I should say, because Hanukkah, you know, is is Austrian, but they've submitted his movies before. And Austria, you know, it's, it's basically Germany. Um, <laughs> it's basically Germany. Um, so, submitted a movie by, not by a German or Austrian director, or takes place in Germany or Austria, or in German or Austrian, was uh, in 1986, or something crazy like that. And that was bef- technically before before Germany was even a thing. It was like West Germany that, that did that. <laughs> so, I don't know. You're telling me that like Germany is going to submit the seat of the sacred fig? Okay, sure, go ahead. See how that, I, see how I that plays out say, for I you. don't think France will do it because France is racist. <laughs> And I, and I don't think France is doing it either. Um, I was going to say because France is also racist. <laughs> and obviously Iran's not going to submit it. So That's kind of the biggest thing that it, I think is hindering. It, it kind of caps out at three nominations, which is, I guess, another problem with the real pain is that, like, it, it can't get more than three nominations. I mean, I know, like, Cole put it in editing, but, like, come on. Are you, like, I, I, I think that's, like, wishful I think thinking. S- 
I think Sea of the Sacred Fig is like a screenplay contender at best. That's my opinion. Screenplay, I think, you know, can definitely happen, which is why it's still hanging on possible, possibly. And maybe, you know, the story catches on because you know, there's the big able story to do... about how the director had to, had to escape Iran and, you know, all that stuff. But and not being able to but, probably get an international nomination, I think it's going to harm its, like, campaign chances a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's, that's another problem. Because, like, Neon can't just campaign it. I mean, it technically is eligible for international prizes elsewhere, like BAFTA, yeah, Golden Globes, but, like, it, it it does it does hurt if it can't get more than like three nominations, right? Like even in theory, like Licorice Pizza could have got could have gotten more. Triangle could have gotten more. Um, you know, Past Lives could have gotten more than just two. Women talking, you know, like they had higher ceilings in theory. This movie really doesn't. So that that's 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 really the big uh the big issue there and also like that like winning a basically a fake award at can like that really like, helped but yeah that's really like if it had won screenplay or jury then like i would be more kind to it to the idea and i guess i am a little bit more kind to it but like i don't know i, I guess it's just not there uh i will say this though i i buy i i, I buy it more than some of these other movies down here um gladiator 2 <laughs> the trailer came out for it <laughs> i mean Tax, sure. Maybe there's a world where Denzel gets in. I would um, other than that. I would have twenty. Yeah, I don't really I don't really see it. How do you Here, see the do you do uh, did you see that Quinn put Denzel in bleed? Yeah, I oh oh my god. So stupid. No, they're not. And funny. he was arguing with people about it too, like, yeah, do you have sources connected to the film? Huh? Not, huh? They're not like, putting two who does somebody know? Bro, just Clayton gets gonna fucking put Tom Clayton. On this this happens like, every year with Clayton. You remember last year where he put where he had Carrie Mulligan winning supporting for Maestro, and like <laughs> people called him out and said like, "Dude, she's literally first bill. What the hell?" And he's like, "Well, look at these other you know people who had you know their names first bill, and one of them was Into the Woods, Meryl Streep, and it's like Into the Woods is an ensemble movie. It doesn't have a lead. You idiot." <laughs> I don't. I don't, I feel like I'm trying him, but that's kind of a reason that a lot of people don't take him seriously until win predictions. You know, like well, yeah, when, I mean, like, when, when, when he gets fine, serious, like, like you know, he kind like, of. I feel like his like... nomination predictions. No one really takes him seriously. Um, he's just kind of a joke on Twitter at this point. It's how I feel. It, he has Ridley Scott winning Best Director, by the way. I should, I should let you all know. Nomination, sure. Like you want to talk about nomination? Sure. I don't know about nomination. Though, if we're talking like, about nomination, it was like super acclaimed or whatever. Like, sure, but this, he ain't winning. If the movie's the most like acclaimed movie of the year, I don't think he's winning. <laughs> yeah, uh, not not buying it. Um, here, uh, looks. What was that? It's the Zemeckis yeah. one, but the de aging, the AI shit. No world. <laughs> it it no looks world. so bad. It looks very. I think someone said it looks very sitcommy, which I don't care. It, 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 oh my god, it looks so very, like sitcommy. Whoever said that it looks like Tree of Life is a Lifetime movie, like you deserve a raise because, like, <laughs> it, oh um, my god, it, and also like I don't think that I don't think the effects look good either. I think they like it's this weird uncanny valley like video game premise, looking effects. I think the premise is interesting, so I'm willing. The premise to is it. interesting, but like. I'm willing to give it the benefit execution. of the doubt. In execution, also this is Robert Zemeckis. Like, do you really think he's he, he's like gonna make a good movie at this rate? I don't know. He made one good. Movie. He made one movie that everyone loves, and no one will shut the fuck up about. Him. Well, he's made a few movies that a lot that everybody loves. Not unless we're talking about Forrest Gump. He made one fucking movie, and no one will shut the fuck pre, up. Pre pre two thousand, um, like, pre two thousand. Also, I don't like. I don't care for Forrest Gump. I hate it actually. <laughs> I don't like Forrest Gump either, uh. But like, like, you, you think the director of Pinocchio is gonna handle a movie with like freaking AI de aging? Well, you really think that's gonna happen? I think we're gonna hit Thanks for the uh, reminding me. Also, thanks for reminding me that that movie exists. I like to forget about it sometimes. Uh, so, so, some, some, sometimes you have to do the work of torture, right? 
It was awful. Oh also, God. this also, you know, let's be real. It's kind of what you get for trying to um argue with me about uh, Mikey Madison. Anyway, uh, no, this movie is uh, yeah, no, no, no shot. Juror number two. This is the new Clint Eastwood movie. Uh, is that coming out this year? It's Clint Eastwood. I, 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 I mean, really. Is that coming out this year? What the fuck? Apparently, it's coming out this year. I don't know. I think like we haven't heard a single word about that. I heard it's I, fine. I think like I heard from someone. I think. I think. Like read somewhere or heard something. You know? It's like fine, which I guess tracks for Clint Eastwood. Will appeal to Clint Eastwood fans. And then everyone also called it. Yeah, it, I I just don't really see like. I mean, I know American Sniper was like a kind of a shock contender, but uh, I'm not feeling it with this one. Really, not feeling it with this one. All we imagine is light. This was the like the third super clay movie from Can. It won the Grand Prix, second place. Um, I think there's a decent chance India does actually submit it. Despite Pyle Kapadia's previous film being uh, extremely critical of the Indian say, government, and particularly Modi, um, then why would they submit it? Well, um, I forget the specifics, but somebody there, there is somebody um, in our in our Discord server who is uh, who who is Indian, who who says effectively. Yeah, like I know, like her last film was very critical of the government, but like it's the type of thing where like it gets so acclaimed, and like if it's not super critical, like India, like the government, like they'll like be more kind to it. Basically, I I think that's what he's saying. What he was saying, I'll I'll clarify it. Uh, otherwise, but yeah, um. I guess that's kind of the point. And like, you know, maybe Trifecta can do something with it. It is sideshow. They did they were the ones that got drive my car. That big moment. I think it looks amazing. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's that type of movie that the Academy would love as much. But I I, I don't think it's that crazy to think about. Uh Maria, we, we we talked about this earlier when we briefly touched on Best Actress. Um Pablo Lorraine. A- nope. It's a Pablo Rain film. I'm just, you know, it's actors and text mostly. I'm, you know, probably gonna be good, but I'm not really like. I think the Academy has clearly shown they truly don't really care. For they don't really care. Like, yeah. Like they kind of just don't care. <laughs> um, hard truth. I would probably have this higher if this wasn't Bleecker Street. There is uh, something to be said, like maybe Marion John Baptiste could get nominated. Maybe it could get screenplay. What you know, the there's, there's there's actors there. So what now? Which one is this? The Mike Lee film. Oh. You said bleaker and I, I zoned out. I was like Yeah, it's bleaker. If this was Sony Pictures Classics, then you know, we could have a different conversation, but uh I don't know. They've only had three movies ever nominated, so for anything. It's so sad. So, <laughs> Yeah. Really depressing. Oh boy, how the mighty have fallen, The Apprentice. <laughs> I love that Megaopolis got a distributor before The Apprentice. That's yeah, because freaking Trump is out there <laughs> trying to stop the movie's release. And... I think it's so funny. Also, the song of this movie about... is pretty hilarious, though, to be honest. Also, can, because, we like... talk, can we talk about how Megaopolis got just got bombed by fucking Focus Features of all studios? Focus Features? Was it Focus Features? or is It, it was Lionsgate. That's still was weirder. That's even weirder. Because like light, it's so weird, so random. Uh, I don't know who I expected it to be, but it was not Lionsgate. I'll tell you that. Um, I I have expected Francis Ford Coppola to self distribute that. Uh, Megalopus, by the way, is not on this list at all. No, that's uh, not. Uh, it, the Apprentice probably shouldn't be either. <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I had it winning this picture last time we did a show. Obviously, you know, I'm, I'll, I'll I'll happily hold hold the L on that one. Um, I think there's a, I think there's a small roller gets nominated. It's an acting contender for sure. Because I have, heard. I mean, I think yeah, the, I think everyone from Can said that kind of regardless, the act like Sebastian Stan and Jeremy Strong look really good. That's true. That is true. 
Also, is an update. Maria Bakalova is apparently barely in the movie, so we can yeah. all take her off. Apparently, barely in the movie. Like, Matt, I, mean, I think someone asked Matt about it, and he was like, "She is unfortunately not really in the movie very much." And we were like, "Oh, that's unfortunate." Yeah, and like maybe there is, especially given the events that happened yesterday, as of the day we were recording this. Um. Which is that you know someone tried to kill Donald Trump. They didn't uh, try to kill him. They were shot. They shot. Perhaps like this movie would be like in the way. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe this is like maybe this hits too close to home, and we shouldn't like go all in on it, right? Uh, I also see this as a movie that like a lot of people are unfortunate. Perhaps it was not the right year for this to come out. You know, like maybe. Like, like I'll say this: if if there's a movie about an event that happened within the last, let's say, ten years, that's like maybe positions of an Oscar contender. I'm just not gonna buy into it because, like, this, like I did, I, I did, I fell for she said as well, and it, I, that obviously didn't turn out very well. Uh, maybe those movies had their own reasons for failing, but like, I think it depends on the movie, right? Yeah. Well, well, well. I mean, Zero Dark Thirty did, did uh, happen in 2012, so I don't know. Um, Sorry, I did have an actual. Oh no, that didn't get best picture. Never mind. Um, there is a film called "I'm Still Here" from. Oh, I don't know how to say his name. Walter Salas, uh, director of Central Station, and Motorcycle Diaries, both of which got Oscar nominations. Fernanda Montenegro is in it. She was nominated for Central Station. I mean, we'll we'll see. We'll see. It's probably going to Venice. So. You know, there's a chance that perhaps it, it can do something. It is also Sony Pictures Classics, like Room Next Door is, so I'm not I'm not so sure about this one. Uh, then there's you know, I guess I have challenges on here because like, eh, I don't know what else. And then there's the end from Neon, which like you know after like Anora and Sacred Fig, kind of proved themselves as like contenders. This one was like kind of easy to like drop down to to the bottom. But anyway, those are our. That's the top twenty-five. Basically, there's probably some movies in there that I am missing. That maybe, maybe I should have in there. Um, for now, the collabor the collaboration. Oh yeah, that one. <laughs> the, um, yeah, I mean, the actors probably need to be considered, to some extent or another, because you do have Andy Warhol and uh, Jean Michel Basquiat. Uh, but you know, you know, it's uh, Paul Bettany, Jim Pope. Apparently, Melissa Barrera is in it. So we're gonna continue I, to support Melissa Barrera. We will be, we will be watching. Yes, we. Uh, we, will be watching. we we do need we do need to support Melissa we Barrera. Will be though. You know, I just wish she wasn't in a if any but Carton film. Um, I mean, the movie doesn't have a distributor as of as of right now. Uh, that'll probably change at some point. But, um, yeah, no, it probably it probably does need to be like seriously considered, at least to, at least to some extent. Uh, maybe New York Film Festival picks it up. You never know. Anyway, uh, let's see. Is there something else that probably should be here? Probably not. All the all the other movies I have on my list. Are not happening because I haven't updated my list in a long time. Yeah, and one's a, one's a straight placeholder because I don't know what else to put them. So, and the other isn't. I don't think is twenty twenty four. All right. Well, I I think I think that's a good place to call the show, there, folks. Uh, so you know, thanks for watching, listening. However you you know you, if you listen to a podcast style, you know, it's, uh, thanks for doing that or. You want to see our random Zoom images, you know? Thanks for doing that too. And uh, yeah, I'm. I think. Uh, I think we'll leave it there for now. Peace out.